This is your friendly reminder that if you cannot get into a squat without keeping your heels on the ground, you cannot squat. Coach Tara says you're not allowed to squat and you're definitely not allowed to put a barbell on your back when you can't even with body weight go into a squat without this happening. Okay, so I mean, it's one of the most common things we see as trainer. We got short calves, shortened calves, poor ankle mobility, could be a weak tibialis, different things can go on. But regardless, if you go down into a body weight squat right now and this starts happening, or even if it's really gradual, it's just a little lift, I want you to think about that. When my heel is not on the floor, let's say I have like 135 pounds on here, and this is lifting, this entire, this will allow me to activate my posterior chain as I come back up. If I have a barbell and my heels are slightly lifted, where does the weight go? Try it right now. Get in a squat and go on your heel, just lift your heels a little. It's all up in your knees, and then you've got this heavy weight while you're trying to do this. So your lumbar and a little bit of your thoracic spine are gonna compress to get that back up. Not good. Not bueno. Okay, so to test this out, just simply body weight, go into a squat and make sure that you can push through your whole foot, including your heels the entire time. If you cannot do this, I definitely recommend actually just getting in a deep squat more. You might need some counterbalance, hold on to something, a kettlebell held out here, because you're, I guarantee you're gonna, you're gonna come down like this and, and you're gonna be like, oh, uh, okay. So hold on to something and practice just sitting like this. Take it easy at first, don't overdo it. We don't want pain, we just want gradual progress on being able to come into a squat and keep our heels on the ground. And also I really like the leg press, sitting on the leg press and letting that kind of push back against you to lengthen the calves more. You might need to strengthen your tibialis. There's a million videos on YouTube on how to improve ankle mobility. So you can go into that, we, can go, we don't have to go into all that here, but those are a couple simple things I like to do. But my message is essentially watch out for this. The last thing I'll say is I see this all the time on walking lunges, right here. It's just the heels coming off the ground a little bit. Everything's going into the knee. You, you know, you cannot properly activate your posterior chain when you're not pushing through it, right, through your heel. So this, you, if you can't lunge without your heel staying on the ground, then you can't lunge, you, especially not with weight added. So watch for this. Can I keep my heel on the ground here? Can't, you know, when I'm doing split squats, is, am I doing this weird thing? Everything's gonna come in the knee and compromise the back, and especially barbell back squats. You cannot be going into a barbell back squat balancing on the front of your foot like that. Super dangerous, you're gonna get hurt, you're gonna get minimized gains. So if this applies to you, get working on that ankle mobility. Okay, bye.